Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Om and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this makeup look and I actually play with a lot of drugstore makeup. And this is the palette I use to create this eye look. Um, I absolutely love this palette. I think so far I have done around four videos already with this palette. If I can find them, I will make sure to link those down in the description bar. I will make sure to link everything down in the description bar and I think we're just gonna dive right into the video. If you wanna see how I created this, then keep on watching. So like I told you guys in my intro already, I'll be playing with the Swear By It palette from NYX Cosmetics. Um, this is such a beautiful palette and it's not too expensive. I will make sure to put all the details in the description bar. And I'm starting with this light gray color and I'm using a really big fluffy blending brush. I'm just gonna start blending this all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. This is going to be the transition shade. So I want this to be like, like from the inner corner to the outer corner, like I already said. Um, if you start with a light color, um, the next colors that you're gonna apply afterwards, which are gonna be a little bit darker, they're gonna be easier to blend out because you have already a base of the color you wanna play with today. Um, I always do this before I go in with any eyeshadow. If I do like a dark brown color, I make sure to first go in with a light brown. So now I'm gonna go in with this darker color, which is more of a darker gray. And I started with blending this in the out of the area, just kind of packing on the product. And then with whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to blend it more towards the crease area. But first I mainly focus like really pressing it in this area. So I get like most color payoff in this area. And then now you can see that I'm more making like those circular motions with the brush and kind of blending it around the area. And now slowly blending it like a little bit more upwards and more towards the crease area. But I wanted like most of this color to really be in the outer feet to create that smokiness. So now for the next step, I'm actually taking the same color as we just used, but I'm picking up a tinier brush. The one that I'm using is a Morphe M506. It's just a really tiny blending brush. And I'm gonna start blending this in the inner corner of the eye. Now, normally I don't really like to darken up the inner corner of my eye. Um, I always kind of try to make it more bright and sometimes I pop like a highlighting shade in the inner corner but for today's eye look you actually want to darken up the inner corner because this is gonna create like that sort of halo effect which we want like when you have some darkness the inner corner and the outer corner and then you're gonna pop like a lighter color in the middle part of the eyelid this is what's gonna create that like halo eye look which we're going for today so now i'm taking this single eyeshadow from nyx cosmetics which is called whipped cream it's a matte white color and i'm going to use this for underneath the brow bone um, this is optional if you don't have a matte white shade you don't have to do this you can also go in with a shimmery color instead if you are more into like glowy brow highlights um, but i wanted to use this matte one um, just to create more of a nice transition from the crease towards the brow then now next I'm taking a little bit of concealer. I use the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop or Won't Stop Concealer. And I'm gonna use a really tiny blending brush, which is by Sigma Beauty. And I'm just gonna press the concealer in the middle part of the eyelid. You can also go straight in with a light eyeshadow and this is gonna do the job as well. But if you create a lighter base underneath the eyeshadow first, the eyeshadow is gonna pop out a little bit more. So now I'm going back in with the dark gray shade, which we used earlier to darken up the outer V and the inner corner. And I'm also going to do the same at the lower lash line of the eye. I'm going to apply a little bit of that in the inner corner area underneath the lower lash line and also at the outer end underneath the lower lash line to create the same darkness as we did on the eyelid. So I just keep blending it. I actually used a super tiny brush, which is from Suifa. It's one of my favorite tiny brushes. To smudge out eyeshadow, I will make sure to link down the name of this brush in the description bar. It's a really nice one. And now I'm going in with this single eyeshadow from NYX Cosmetics. It's called the Foil Play Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Woman of Steel. It's such a beautiful product. Like I can't even begin to tell you guys how much I love it. I also just checked in my makeup drawer and I have a few more of these eyeshadows in different colors, like more golden shades, more bronzy shades. So definitely let me know if you want me to do more videos using like these eyeshadows from NYX, because I think these are so underrated. I will recommend them to everyone. They are just absolutely incredible. And especially for the price, they're really affordable. And you can create some really nice glamorous looks with it. So let me know if you want to see more videos where I use like different colors. 
to apply this i just used my finger you can also use a brush but the consistency of this eyeshadow is kind of creamy and i feel like using your finger it, it kind of picks up most product and it applies it a little bit so now i'm doing the same underneath the lower lash line and popping a little bit of that color underneath the lower lash line in the middle part and then i went in with this pencil from marc jacobs which is the highliner pencil in the color deja blue um, i really like the marc jacobs highliner pencils um, they're really pigmented and they have some really cool more unique kind of colors um, but during the video I am gonna switch it up because I felt like the pencil was looking a little bit too light I felt like it wasn't looking how I wanted it to look so during the video I am gonna use a different pencil but you will see that later so now I went in with a lash curler to give my lashes a little bit of a lift and then I went in with my favorite mascara, which I use in almost every video, which is the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. It's my absolute favorite. I am going in with fake lashes, so I'm not really focused like on how my upper lashes are looking because I'm going in with lashes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm always really focused on my bottom lashes because I really want them to look as long as possible. And then I switched up the pencil in my waterline. I went in with the Suifa Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Cool Factor. First, I applied it like all the way in the lower lash line on top of the Marc Jacobs pencil. But then I felt like, let's go back in with the Marc Jacobs pencil and apply a little bit of that just in the center. So just like we did with the highlight to pop that light color in the center, I wanted to do this in the water line as well using that pencil from Marc Jacobs. And then I went in with some fake lashes. I used my own lashes from my brand Anytude. Um, this is the style Fairy. I will make sure to link down in the description bar um, a special discount code which you can use if you want to try out my lashes. And then here you can see the end result of the eyes. So now I'm going to show you the rest of my makeup and I'm going to start with this lip liner from NYX Cosmetics which is such a beautiful color. It was the first time trying out this color and it's just a really nice nude brown it's a bit darker like when you would com compare it with like max strip down but it's really nice to use in combination with nude lipsticks so i'm using the l'oreal ultra matte liquid lipstick in the shade number 844 it's a beautiful nude color um, i absolutely love it and i will be definitely using it more often and then i went in with a concealer brush and i've kind of blended it into the lip liner then now I'm going in with this palette from NYX, which is the Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I used the color like all the way down, which is like a peachy color. And I used it on the apples of my cheeks using a 234 brush from Suifa. So now I'm going in with this highlighter from Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Glow Highlighter Powder in the shade Precious Petals. And I'm going to use it with a tiny blending brush from Morphe. And this is actually such a beautiful highlighter. It comes really close to one of my favorite highlighters by Bobbi Brown, which is Afternoon Glow. But this one is obviously way more inexpensive. And then this is the end of the video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. Also, like I said in the intro, I am obsessed with this eyeshadow from NYX. Um, the pigmentation is just incredible. Like I used a silvery one today, but I do know that there are a few more shades, which I'm definitely going to use in some upcoming videos. So they're called the Foil Play Cream Eyeshadows. Definitely check them out when you're in store and they sell these, just swatch them and you'll see how amazing they are. Also, I really like this lip color. It was the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick by L'Oreal in the color 844 Sweet Toot. I really like the color. I think it's actually one of the most beautiful nude lipsticks I've ever worn. It does feel a little bit sticky like when I do this. It's a little bit sticky, but not too bad. I actually really like it. It doesn't feel really dry. Only when I like close my lips, it feels a little bit sticky, but I'm fine with that. I think the shade is so colored that I don't even care like what finish it is. I think it's so pretty. So if you like this color, definitely give it a try or maybe swatch it in store. And yeah, that was that. I just want to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. I think we lost all, but who will take the fall? Who will win it all? You know the